It's your girl, C. Marie, the Purpose Broker, and I need you to pray for two things for me right now. One, that my iPhone does not tip over in the water, and two, that I don't off of this rock. Okay, so um, I'm obviously clearly excited, and I had to get in my elements with the elements to help you guys rise on purpose. This is Pushing Purpose, episode nine, and we're gonna talk about the power of human connection. I have a true story for you today. First, I need to give a shout out to this amazing conference that I'm attending all week long, and I'm gonna tell you directly how this relates to my story, how it relates to our story, and how the power of human connectivity can take us higher to our higher selves. Um, see, I've got my little medallion on here, so I'm not lying. I'm a PNC 2019 conference attendee, woohoo! So, um, Dr. Thurgood, Dr. Thurgood Marshall once said um, that the power, um, as we give credence, right, to humanity, we pay ourselves the highest tribute, okay? So our belief and that empowerment that we show to other human beings is what actually, in a reciprocal manner, gives us our higher sense of self. So true story. February of 2018, I wrote on some boards. Oh my goodness, is it starting to rain? Y'all, I've got about four minutes. Keep praying for me. <laughs> so February of 2018, I wrote on some boards who I am, what I want to do, um, what I know that I'm here for, my purpose, you know, all kinds of words were just splattered there and they were just like vibrating in my soul, speaking, um, philosophy, uh, philosophy, writing, um, traveling, um, you know, taking people higher, connecting them to their self, being able to break down boundaries in this world through people. Um, by the end of me <laughs> writing that on my board, I didn't know I was going to do this. I had been thinking about it. It's not my first time here. It wasn't my first time trying to start this business, but I put in um, my, uh, you know, resignation at my job. And at that time, I went full time into my husband and I, we had a real estate business. Um, real estate business for me is a vehicle to get where I want to go and where we can help our family grow. And then I can bring my passions in there, but it's not my purpose. And um, so I, and, and he knows that, and there is a difference between your passion and your purpose, right? Um, because I could bring my passions in there, but I know my purpose because I've been writing it down um, for the last four years every day. And so again, that was a vehicle, but it wasn't it. And so as I wrote on those boards, even while working in our business, I started to see that even what I was doing in real estate, it's like, I wanted to do more of it. You know, you would, some of you may have seen me on real estate business. I was on the, um, you know, videos and I was writing the statuses and I was doing the market and business development, which I love but not necessarily always about the things that I really want to talk about and working with people on what I really want to work with them on, which is not signing this contract here for a wholesale deal or what have you, but it's really signing the contract and the deal for your life so that you can cross that boundary and take humanity higher so that we can all rise with you and so we can transcend these things that are unnecessarily out here, creating all the frictions and competitions simply because people really don't know who they are and why they are. And so if you don't, then anybody else can be a threat to you for something that you feel is not deserved, okay? Um, so anyway, I went to this Power Networking Conference in 2018, this time last year. And I had my the name of the business I wanted to start, I had everything out. And I'm telling you, after the end of this conference, that in that very next week, I submitted my LLC paperwork for the Purpose Broker. What was it about the conference? I'll tell you what it was. It was the human connectivity. It was, and, and when I talk about humanity, it's the idea that somebody else affirms your own humanity, your own beauty, your own power, your own purpose, your own essence, your own light in this world. So you gotta surround yourself with people that believe that, with people who replicate that. And the Power Networking Conference, and, 
as an entity and what it embodies. It speaks to everything that I really aspire and really believe from the mental to the metaphysical, spiritually to business-wise. I mean, everything. And it is not separate for me. So, um, you know, even though I had known this, even though I had done this, even though I had started a business uh, six years before that trying to do it and it failed, I couldn't, you can't run. You know, you're either going to be depressed or you're, you know, just going to be unsatisfactory. But when you know it, the more you know it, the more it's going to follow you. And then once you get in front of other people that believe in that and that want to see that succeed, there's just no stopping you, which is why I've developed my business because everybody, everybody who is, is, who is a part of this human circle actually needs that. And most people aren't taking the time to sit with that and look at themselves and discover the next steps, which is why I do that with people. I do that with teams. Um, so anyway, so it's just a year later and I'm going back to the Power Networking Conference again. And it's just a great reminder of that. Um, second story. So that first felt business that was called the solutionary that does exactly what the purpose oracle does the coaching um the cre creative solutions in people's lives the invigorating teams and environments for passion i was doing that in the business i started six years ago but it failed and i i got the cops on me going uh to people's you know neighborhoods and mailboxes and all kind of things i was just you know trying to do really militantly and everything so this past week i went to go knocking on a hundred doors and do you know, I was literally almost like shaking um, because somebody texted me and she said, do not litter. She found my information. Don't litter um, your flyers, you know, in our environment. So I put them on people's cars in the park and stuff. Um, but then it was just like a reminder for me of like my previous business failed and oh my goodness, you know, I'm going to give a call, cops call to me again. And, you know, it's just like, you know what happens when you have an experience and it's like, is this gonna happen again? But I knew guys, no matter how much I love you all, no matter how much I appreciate you following me, the comments and likes aren't enough. I don't get in front of people and talk to them and build that relationship with them. The transcendence that they may need in their lives that I need in my life and to fulfill my mission um, in maybe their life and for my ultimate destiny, it's not gonna happen. So knocking on those hundreds of doors it, it, it's way better than anything I've ever gotten on social media because a um, while you can have engagement it is not the same as human connectivity and true interaction most of the time when we're actually having interaction on um, social media it's like a debate and that's not typically connecting you to your humanity and higher self because it's pulling you away from it why do you have to spend all damn day proving to somebody your own um, valid experience right so anyway, um, I just want, if, if anybody is wanting to possibly, you know, change something in their life, have a shift, um, alignment, um, vibrate on a different level or attract more of something that you need, maybe it's dollars, maybe it's mindset, maybe it's, you know, other people that are, you know, actually where you want to be and where you are. It's not, I don't care how many online um, little groups you're a part of or what have you, you gotta get out and build that human connection. It is powerful. That's why the, I believe that the um, Power Networking Conference is called that because the power is there, because the human activity is there. See, they could have an online social media group with 10,000 people. It would never be this explosive. There is something transformative, transformative about physical presence. So, a um, few events that I have going on for you right here at this waterfall beginning tomorrow at 7 a.m. is Rise on Purpose. 15 minutes of powering you up before your day, mood shifting, mind boosting, you know, motivational mornings. Just to power you up right here at the Circle at Herman Park, 3 Herman Museum Circle uh, Drive. Go to uh, riseonpurpose.eventbrite.com. Also, a uh, one-on-one -on -one power up session um, all morning long from 6 a.m. until 10 uh, Monday through Friday okay go to um, my power up or power up on purpose dot eventbrite.com I'll write the links down but I'm just telling you anyway power up on purpose dot eventbrite.com 
okay? Um, I hope to see you soon. I hope to connect with you soon. Obviously, I really believe in this humanity thing. I really believe in your power, and I really believe that the more individuals that we can have connected to that which they are sent here to do, practicing it on a daily, being able to look back at the pattern of their lives and connect the dots and use that to get you to that next point of your life, I really, I really, really truly believe we can exist on that level that we've all been desiring, that we know we can in our homes, in our relationships, in our self entities, in our environments, in our communities, in our world, because as we move, so does the world. All right, so continue to rise. Can't wait to see you guys soon. Stay powerful. Thank you. <laughs>